In today's video, we are gonna use appear disappear animations to show and hide any content on our slides. Let's get started. Hello everyone, this is Alan VC from Better Slides. If you want to follow me on this tutorial, click the link below this video to join the Better Slides community on Discord and have instant 100% free access to these slides and all the slides we use on this channel. That being said, before we add the appear, disappear animations to our content, we need to work on the triggers. And to do that, we are going to use these two circles. However, they won't be visible on the slideshow. The visible show hide element we are going to use on our presentation will be this switch over here. Don't you worry if you feel kind of confused right now, as everything will be crystal clear in a minute. So, first, open the selection pane. To do that, click on Home, go to the right and click on Select. Then, click on Selection Pane and you'll have a list showing all the elements on the slide. To make your life easier, I have added names for each element on the slide so it is easy for you to know which element we are modifying during this tutorial. Now, let's add some animations to our slide. So, click on the switch, then go to Animations, Add Animation, Motion Paths, Lines. Grab this red circle and move it over here. This will be the on position for our switch, that's why we are moving it to this position. Okay, now we need our switch to move to this position only after we click on the on trigger, right? Well, to do that, make sure the animation pane is open and while having the motion path selected, click on trigger. On click off, turn on. Let's change the duration for the motion path to one second and we are done. Excellent, now if I open the presentation, the switch will move to the on position only when I click on the corresponding trigger. Let's now add the next animation. This time, we want to click on the OFF trigger to make the switch move to the OFF position. So we are going to repeat the process. So click on the switch, let's go to Animations once again, Add Animation, Motion Paths, Lines. Now we need to grab the green circle and move it over here, because this animation will start from this point. Also, let's grab the red circle and move it over here. Great, time to add the trigger, so let's click on the motion path, trigger, on click off, turn off. We still need to adjust the speed for the motion path to one second. Let's continue, these triggers are not supposed to be here. We need to change their position, so let's click on the on trigger and move it over here, to the off position of the switch. Because when the switch is off, the only reason to click on it is to turn it on, right? Next, let's click on the OFF trigger and move it over here. Because this is the position our switch will have after we turn it on, and the only option we will have here is to turn it off. Now, like I said, we don't need the triggers to be visible, so click on the trigger, hold SHIFT, click on the other one, now let's go to HOME, Shape Fill, More Fill Colors, and let's adjust the transparency to 100%. Great, let's open the presentation to give it a try. Now, we need this background color to turn red or green depending on our selection. So, if you click here and move this shape, you will discover there is a red shape here. This is the switch background, so click on it. Let's go to Animations, Add Animation, go to the Emphasis section and click on Fill Color. Now, here in this slide, you have the hex value for the green we are using when the switch is on. So, copy this value, click on the Fill Color animation, open the drop down menu and click on Effect Options. Open this drop down menu and click on more colors. Here you can enter the hex value you just copied, so do it. Click OK. Now drag the fill color animation and drop it on the trigger turn on section. Change the duration to one second. And you also need to change the start to with previews. And let's see. Perfect. 
perfect. Next, we need to go back to the red color whenever we click on our switch to turn it off, right? So, while having the switch background selected, let's go back to animations, add animation, emphasis, fill color. Here, you have the hex code for the red color. Let's copy this, go to the animation, open the drop down menu, effect options, open the drop down again, more colors, paste the code, click OK. Let's change the duration of the effect to 1 second, click on it, drag and drop it on the trigger turned off section, change the start to with previews, and you're done. Let's open the presentation. Awesome. Now we just need to fix the position of our switch frame. Beautiful, we are halfway through. But before we continue, if you think this content is helping you, please consider subscribing. And if you want, hit that bell icon so you get a notification every time I submit a new video. The next step is finally adding the appear disappear animations to our content. We have this piece of content here, so go to the selection pane and click on green option. Now go to animations, add animation. We want to show the content when the switch is on, right? So click on fade in and move the animation to the trigger turn on list. Change the start to with previews and you're done. Now we also need to hide the content when the switch is off. So go to the selection pane again, click on the green option, then go to animations, add animation and click on fade out. As you can see, I prefer to use the fade in and fade out animations to make objects appear and disappear on the screen. But if you want to use the actual appear and disappear animations, that's totally up to you. Go for it. So I'll click on the animation and move it below uh, the turn off section. Change the start to width previews and we're done. Let's now take a look at our presentation. Now the content shows up when we turn the switch on and disappears when we turn it off. But we can take this to the next level and show different pieces of content depending on the position of our switch. And believe it or not, we can do it in a few clicks. So let's do it. Here on this second slide, you have one more piece of content. This is the red option. Let's select everything, use Ctrl C to copy. Now let's go to the first slide and use Ctrl V to paste it. Make sure it is well placed and let's add a couple animations. While having the red option selected, let's go to Animations, Add Animation, Disappear. Click on the drop down menu and change the start to with previews. Now let's move the animation to the turn on list. Next, go to the selection pane, click on red option, animations, add animation, fade in, change the start to with previews and move it to the turn off list. Okay, let's give it a try. Hmm, I don't like how the green option overlaps the red one as we turn the switch off, so let's fix it. Um, just click on the fade out animation for the green option and go to the animations menu. But instead of opening the add animation soup menu, uh, we are going to click on disappear here to replace the existing animation. Let's try once again. Awesome, I like it. What do you think? Let me remove these text boxes here. Okay, perfect. Now, we can do many more interesting things with appear than disappear animations to capture people's attention during our presentations. One of them is moving from one slide to the next one, like this. Looks good, right? Well, if you want to know how to do it, click on the next video here and let's do it together, step by step. And that's all for now guys, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I submit a new video, take care and see you next time.